I'm Jamie Cassell with your WMAR 2 News update. Police have made an arrest in connection to the tragic murder of a mother of a Naperville Academy student. Michelle Cummings was shot and killed by stray bullets while sitting on a hotel patio in Annapolis last month. She had just dropped her son off at the Academy. And now Angelo Herod is now facing charges for her death. He reportedly cut off his ankle bracelet in May and avoided capture for eight weeks before the shooting. Annapolis Police Chief Edward Jackson called Cummings husband right before announcing the news to all of us. I told him that uh, we had had a person in custody and charged him with the murder of his wife. Um, he paused when I told him the news and he said, thank you, Chief. Thank you. Uh, my family thanks you. Police say Harad was shooting at two people in a car behind Cummings' hotel when he was killed. Police caught him just a few hours later. A morning walk with his dog turned into a remarkable recovery in Glen Burnie. Ted Rutherford was at around 545 Tuesday morning walking on a bike path near the Herondale Mall. He heard a sound but didn't know where it was or where it was coming from. Well, a boy walking by went into the woods to check for Ted and he came back saying, it's a baby. Rutherford called police and they found the newborn about seven feet off the trail. Uh, all of the placenta and all, you know, the fluids and all were in a, like a grocery bag, a little plastic bag, and it was tied up around the umbilical cord. Well, the baby is now being treated for scrapes at a hospital, but it is otherwise okay. And for the first time in six years, one of country music's biggest names coming to Charm City, Garth Brooks. It's going to be at M&T Bank Stadium on Saturday, October the 2nd. Tickets will go on sale July 23rd. They start at 95 bucks. You can get them through Ticketmaster. This will be the only concert that Garth is holding in the Mid-Atlantic section. So the next closest, you have to go up to Boston or down to Charlotte. And the heat and the humidity return as we head towards your Thursday, expecting it to remain dry throughout the entirety of the day. Numbers start off in the upper 70s in the morning, climbing into the 90s through the afternoon with heat indices that flirt with the triple digits during the afternoon. Daytime highs 93 at the harbor, 92 in East and 91 out in Thurmont and Elkton. Rain chances trickling back in as we head into your Friday, expecting them to be isolated, but more widespread showers and thunderstorms for the weekend as a cold front slides through the region, only dropping the temperatures to the upper 80s through Monday. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.